Hello, and welcome back to our ByteLinks dev recording. Uh, today we'll be continuing to work on Gary's game, uh, where we left off from last time. So, uh, today we are going to be working on making, like, the actual level that you're going to have to traverse. Uh, now, the idea for this was green was going to have one really strong headquarters and yellow was going to have like maybe two or three and we'll have asymmetry and it'll be you know a little bit more difficult to do one than the other we can't can't per perfectly balance it but they're going to be different levels for which one you start with so you know whoever you start with first you'll have for like 30 seconds so probably that means the other player would be the one that would be the winner but you know there might be some interesting strategies there uh to like see how that goes so um we're gonna start working on a lot of that level layout now what i like to do when making a map is sketch it out on paper uh, or using like a quick art program uh, this is just a little bit more free form working in the editor is really good and you can get specific details like exactly what you want uh, but i i always like to just kind of sketch it out on paper uh, you know, probably this is, goes back to some of my, like, time as, uh, you know, doing game design uh, pen and paper, which is a great way to learn if you want to do uh, just, like, game design in general, is to just paper, write out what you're trying to do and, like, what, what you're trying to accomplish. Um, so we're going to do that. Uh, so we're going to minimize to desktop. I need to not show this. Um and we're going to open up a program called paint.net this is a free program and this just lets us be able to draw stuff so our level is like a two to one ratio so i'm going to make a new width here of eight, uh, 800 by 800 not 8000 800 by 400 and that should give us the same dimensions approximately so we're going to just like pop out the brush and just start sketching. Um, and this is just to kind of get a, an easy glimpse about what's happening. I'm going to use colors for this. Um, let's put it on a black background. Um, or at least a dark one. We'll go with like a darker gray. There we go. Just so that we can see the yellow um, a bit better for colors so let's go to our yellow it doesn't have to be exactly the same um and then our walls can be like white or something okay so we want to do some spaces where yellow has multiple bases so um let's do like an hq um maybe like a, it's a formation like there's an easy one to get um, there's one that's like far behind a big like winding area and then there's one that maybe you like you could shoot or something or you could do various weird stuff with I don't know that one's going to be tricky uh, if we want to do over the ground for green attacking because green is not going to have laser um, yellow will so I kind of feel like most things that we want to do are going to be with relays and lasers and for yellow to use. So if we do like an HQ there and there and there, and then let's go and uh, switch colors, we'll get a kind of greenish. Um, and I think we just put it mostly in the center. Um, now this kind of pushes, like by, by making this decision, it, it does put us in a position to make like certain choices about how stuff is going to work now, right? So we want it to be kind of hard to get to this HQ and do damage. If it's going to be here, then we need to provide like a challenge to getting there. So I think what would be neat is to do like a castle sort of thing where we have like maybe a moat or something. So like we can sketch out that, um... And like this is this is probably like pits or something. Yeah, this is probably pits. And then maybe we have like some relays or something. Um, but like, let's, let's go further back there. And like you have to go around. 
I kind of don't want to have you be able to go from both ways because it means that like the interesting things about one side versus the other and in yellow you're gonna to have to all go to all directions and you want them to take approximately the same amount of time to make green or yellow win i mean it's not actually gonna be true but like you know we want it to to not be overly overly broken so let's think about that space of like how do we maybe make this oh okay okay i got an idea this is completely walled off but there's a relay over here, right? So, um, let's go back. There's like a relay that connects these from there to there. And so, like, you need to take this side because you have to laser this on this here. Um, so, like, it's like the, there's a puzzle element. You have to take this side. You have to take this side because you have to get through the um, connection point here to go across because the green power goes there. And then you can also probably do a relay from here to here, right? And so, like, the main point is you have this big HQ. It looks like kind of mostly not in danger, but because it has so much health, it'll take like seven lasers all at once to murder it. Um, or very good usage of like lasers and shields and stuff. But that's that's the whole fun, right? That's the whole point of making this is to like put inventive things where it's like, oh, you could take this um, to go and try to get past quickly. Oh wait, no, they'd be able to sneak through on this side. So this one probably we don't let them be able to see through because then it's important that they take this area of the map. Uh, also, I'm not sure if you can see my cursor, but the the um, Let's see. It's important that they take this area of the map so that they can secure this to go across from this side. All right, let's go back to white. Um, and let's make this side kind of interesting. So one thing that I think green will be fun and unique to fight against would be like corridors. So like, let's let's consider doing doing some of those, right? Like, if we do maybe, like, a corridor here, then we, we want, once again, to be kind of a linear fortress. But it doesn't have to be perfectly linear, right? We could do here, and then we could do a relay across this, right? Uh, that purple color. Right, we could do a relay across this. But, like, that's not going to stop any problems. Uh, in terms of like disconnecting stuff and then we could maybe have like the, the the middle ground here which is probably just like some boxes or something like that right what, let's do maybe we got like some some middle ground boxes right so the whole point of, of laying out the level like this though is to get the ideas going like if you're all zoomed in uh, and the map editor, that's really good for the specifics, right? We get no specifics here about, like, how how big are these, like, pits, but we have ideas about how this could work together. Like, what is the natural progression if you're trying to win the game as yellow? Well, maybe you try and cut off this thing with a laser, and then you take this, and that shortens the time here. Or... Um, you go directly across this way and you say, okay, I don't care about that. I'm going to go as fast as possible, take out this, and then go down. Because you're like, well, I still have to travel through this versus cutting it off and then capturing it. So maybe this is kind of fortified um, as a thing. So if we put, draw up the battle lines for green, like, I think probably those those look like here... And here as as battle lines and then like this is all controlled space right that that's the the point at which they have uh, a line of defense I, I feel like there's probably another big line of defense here one here uh, probably one here a pretty big one here and we can do maybe some interesting uh, like more quarter stuff here uh, we could maybe actually divide this if we wanted to an easier bottom one so it's more distance or a shorter distance um, but like we, we, we can we can think of the specifics later. We just want the broad strokes right now, as far as like where are the defensive lines, um, 
Of course, we have one here. And then this is probably all open, but it's just going to be so hard to be able to kill Green's HQ that I, I think you have to, like, really coordinate with a bunch of HQs or something, um, like, or, 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 or do something very, very unique and special, right? Um, okay, so I think that's pretty interesting for the left-hand side of this map. Uh, we can think more about it later. But now let's go over to the yellow side. Uh, we should also think about, like, how long of distance it is to travel if you take the like a shorter or a long distance so that's like half a map half a map a quarter and a quarter so half half that's one quarter quarter so that's like one and a half distances for the shortest and then we add another half for this area here if uh, we include that space so that's like yeah just getting a, a general just so for yellow Right, we want people to be able to make more headway, and we also want, um, like we want to do things a little bit differently so that green can use the retaliation damage in neat ways, um, and also using their lances in cool ways. Uh, I feel like that's going to involve a lot of platforms. Uh, and the Sergers, that go super fast. So, that probably involves then using, like, hmm. How do we do this? How do we, okay, so let's, let's think about this. Because green is, is a little bit weird, right? So the things that green has are... Uh, we can go look over here. Green action mods. They have their wires, which do retaliation damage, right? They do like 80% or something like that. What is it? Or wait, no, it wasn't the retaliation. No, it was the lances, maybe. Yeah, the lances do a bunch of retaliation damage. And then the shields also do as well. Yeah. So... How do we make that interesting as, like, a strategic choice against yellow? Yellow doesn't have lances. They shouldn't have these here, but, you know, that's fine. Um, so what does that look like, right? They have these, like, range one turrets, um, right, that are all small. And that's cool. But it's also, like, maybe tricky. Maybe... Okay, so these are range 1, right? Maybe we have a, a bunch of defenses that are uh, pits. So, a thing that's ridiculously hard to fight against um, is when the enemy is entrenched uh, around this sort of entrance, right? So, you have, uh, like, this sort of thing here. And you have to go through this. And then the enemy, uh, they have, like, you know, something like this, right? And then if we combine that with a shield, um, like there and there, right? Maybe we even do a second one. do that like that seems really really difficult to deal with um because you come in here and then you get murdered like by a lot of damage and you have to have you can only have one thing facing right or left but the retaliation damage is pretty good on that right and with these shields you could do multiple shields all on like the same point right could do yeah let's get rid of that one actually so this one is protecting that space this one like we're this is probably too much right these things already have like 650 and a bunch of regeneration so like this is maybe already too hard but we want to be able to like you know make something harder or easier depending upon like how difficult it is and so being able to defend that space then defend those spaces and defend uh, these spaces. Oh, wait, this one actually... 
That's going inside the wall. There's a bubble in the wall. <laughs> That's all right. It's all good. <laughs> there can be a bubble in the wall. Um, and since they're two-sided, maybe we even, like, could do, like, a, this sort of thing, right? And so this is, like, the main defense, defensive line of yellow. And so if we just have these little holes, it's like, okay, I gotta get through, but, like, how do I do that in a way that's not gonna be murdered? And it's like, well, retaliation damage is a good candidate for getting through this sort of mess. Um, so I, I think that that could be pretty cool. Uh, we could further, like, make these things even stronger. Like, I think we do that, 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 and that. We have these two spaces that have shields on them. But then the collective shields is just kind of insane for this cluster. Like, these ones are the weakest. But this, this formation is insanely strong. And so maybe... There's a really quick way to get to one of the HQs if you can get through this mess. <laughs> and then there's like, you know, um, one, like two entrances and one of these configurations on either side. So let's go back and think about how we could incorporate that. I feel like... I kind of feel like I want to put the walls down first. Um, so... I want there to be some distance, right? Because it's not strictly just like a DPS check. Um, so I'm feeling like this is the one with that like, you know, weird wall thing that we were just talking about. Um, and there. And these can all be kind of independent. Uh, this HQ it feels a little bit too far forward, um, but maybe that can be interesting, right? Um, Right. Sometimes you, you. This is also the beauty of why why doing it this way is it, it, you you put something in place and you're like, well, is that a good idea or not? And it's like, well, we could just try it, see what happens. What if we like put this one in a cove here? Like you can't laser it, um, but now it's like deep. So maybe this one. Um, so this one could be the turrets, right? You got to get through the turrets, and the shields are protecting stuff. But this one, the HQ is pretty exposed, but it has a lot of protection. Um, and so it's going to, like, trigger the AI response. I'm thinking yellow is going to have an AI that doesn't do anything except for does laser response. Um, and that's the only thing it does. So... You can't, you can't stop. <laughs> when you're not playing yellow, you can't stop it from lasering you. Now, this last one here, I kind of feel like is, like, these are, are puzzles in different ways. Um, but this one, maybe it should do something a little bit more unique. Like, I could just kind of put that like that. No, 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 no. We, we want to make it so that by taking one of these like it forwards you to having advantage on this to some degree i think like the order in which you take these should not be independent factors and i think that makes for a more interesting level so let's <clears throat> let's go and put like a hole in this wall here right But then you can just go around, right? This is going to be the really hard entrance. Hmm. How are we going to do this? So you don't have lasers. You know what we could do is we could do a really tiny over a, like a pit. That's a lanceable, so you can like hit it with a lance here, and like this is like some uncontrolled stuff. So it gives you a way of attacking this yellow from here. So by taking this base, you can go up and across. But like maybe it's a really shallow, um, like super easily hittable with just a lance. 
And that way you can go across it or whatever. Or or it's unpowered. There's there's two options there. Um Yeah, and maybe oh okay, so You wouldn't be able to use the laser if you took over a yellow HQ, because you don't have that action unlocked. But But it would be we would keep, okay, so like, if we're trying to make these things kind of unique, um, we could also put in a neutral player that's just, like, some stuff that you could take advantage of. And since green doesn't have a laser by default, like, maybe if it captured the HQ, um, like, we could force it to be unpowered, and then you capture it, and then by capturing it, you get the laser... Like, we just put in a trigger to do the, all, all this. Um, that would be pretty freaking cool. And I think that that's, like... That's a fun idea. In fact, it would be cool to do that on both sides, right? Where there's, like, you know, a side base that you can go to and do something interesting with. And it is neat. <sighs> Yeah. Okay, I'm not sure what to do with this this base up here. Like, I mean, we could put our walls in, right? But I'm just not sure of what's interesting to do here. Like, maybe we do some, like, back and forths or something. Um, right, if this is just chopped off a uh, neutral base... Um, let's make it, like, blue. Blue HQ. Right? It's the, the captor. And then... Oh! There we go! That's what we can do with this space. So, because this is, like, you can get it to it a little bit earlier if you take this immediately. You can go across and take blue. Um... We can do the same over here with this space in this corner, right? So if we take this, put kind of line there, because then we still have the corridors, but we have this, like, secondary objective thing. Um, and then we can do a secondary fun thing to, like, get as a as the neutral player. Um this is yellow, so they should probably have to use lasers or something to do a cool... Um, no, because we... Okay, so we want to be able to use these, and that's just not going to work. Because to kill the final HQ, right? To kill the final HQ, you would have to have them be on the other side of that wall, right? This wall here. So maybe it makes sense to instead actually put it here, right? So this goes like that, maybe. And this is enclosed. Well, well, then we have to move the HQ up here, though, probably, so that you'd, like, move through it. How to do this? This is, this is a bummer. Um... So I like the idea of, like, a secondary benefit here because, you know, your the direct route is to go here to do a bunch of lasers or to go through the relay, blast it across here. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to figure out what would be valuable. And I guess we could just do a big triplex store, right? We could do a bunch of, like, triplexes that will, would just, like, give you more value um oh oh so the thing about yellow is that they have a certain number of charges on their hq right and um here yeah so they only get two of these 
And then I think the cooldown is actually kind of large. Yeah, it's a minute. So what we could do is just have a bunch of unpowered HQs that um, the player can then capture. And then you'd have to, like, move them around. So if you want to go the long-ranged murder it from offshore without going through this... Um, you get these, you move them up, you move them over, you put them in place, and then you get, like, five of them to, to blast the green all at once um, to do enough damage to kill, <laughs> to kill them, right? Because their HQ is insane. Um, okay, yeah, I like that. Um, so they can also have a different type of laser that's maybe stronger, and, the, like, the default laser. Instead of yellow's laser, which is... Um, I mean, it's, like, tactically maybe more useful, uh, but isn't as good maybe for other reasons. So, yeah, let's do that. So, why is why is this useful for blue, though? I think it was just because we are going to have this area be open, so you don't have to go through here. You can kind of go through the back door. So, you go, do-do-do-do-do, or take this, don't take this, take this, and then, like, go up and through here but like probably here is pretty well defended okay i i like this this is cool um let's do like orange i guess um hq depot right <laughs> there's a lot of a lot of lasers or rays i think you call them rays um cool Okay, and just like a little bit of cleanup. We want this to be open here. Now, our lines of like where this player is having their defenses. Um, so, here. Um, here. Here, here, here. Here, 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 here. Right, so if you go through this, you're able to take this out kind of early on. Then you can go back and take this. And that's like a fun strategy to not go through all of this, because this is like really hard probably to get through. In fact, actually, if you take this first, which is going to be really hard, this is probably a two-directional, too, so if you don't take it, then we need to make it kind of hard, which means probably we need to go through this side and force force going through all of this somehow, or at least make it, like, more of a thing. And if you take out this HQ... Okay, so we probably need... Um, another relay here to, to pull that off, then. Let's do purple. Purple. Um, because otherwise, like, if you kill this HQ, then this stuff will get unpowered, and it's probably easy to chop this off here, because these wires would be vectors there. Okay, this is looking pretty dang cool. Um... Yeah. And green does like triplexes, I feel like. Uh, so we can we can also have blue have a triplex cache. Um, and that's like a, a you know a, a secondary objective that's that's maybe cool to do. Yeah. Okay, so I, I think this is our level. Um, now let's go and actually make it reality. Um, but like, yeah, it's really important, um, at least for me, how I make levels, to do this initial sketch because it gets the ideas going. Uh, and a lot of this internal monologue is, is it's, it's just how you make the level interesting. There has to be bits and pieces that are cool. For like the resource race template, I was like, oh, I want like three enemies and I want like one to be different than the other and like how do I arrange them to make them feel uh, different and unique uh, in how they interact with the game um, because then it's going to feel like a more of a novel experience depending upon which player you're trying to make win um, 
And I think that's pretty cool. So let's go and make this real. Um, first off, let's clean things up a little bit. We got, we got some garbage. Um, so I like to always start with just the walls first and then, uh, you know, work away from there. So let's see, we want like maybe a little bit there there and I'm also referencing the the mini map down here and that that feels like too much space down there um and may as well do like that this will be an extra hard area to get through um let's do that being four wide here. Um, put that to there. We want to have there be cover for that ground pin, which will eventually be up here. Um, we don't want that to get chopped too easily. Um, there's also the, the question of blasting. Yeah, we do want to be able to blast this, but getting across. So, this is actually kind of strange, because we would prefer to be able to have this whole section to be powered still, and if that's all open, then that, like, won't be. So, maybe we pull this over some. Right, let's, let's give ourselves a little bit more space. Um, I still would like there to be an opening with four, but maybe... We also have, like, a really narrow area. One, two, three, four. Or, oops. And so, like, we have just, like, a wire going through here. Um, I like to put walls around my levels. Um, I feel like it just... It, it, it gives them... Give the player a good idea about, like... Oh, this is the edge. Whereas if there isn't, then they just kind of, like, have to just notice. Okay, this is kind of a small space. Uh, we might want to grow out the top of the level some, but we can do, like, an insert map spaces uh, later if we need that. Um, okay, so the HQ is going to be, like, about here-ish. Um, which I think should still be within laser range. Let's just test that real quick. So we're going to go yellow, wires laser and we actually can't test the range in the editor because like we don't really like firing lasers doesn't actually do anything in the editor uh so it's not an action that's available so we'll have to look at that later um okay this is looking pretty cool okay so then this let's see one two three yeah, so there's enough to do a pretty impressive cache here. Um, I am feeling like I do want just a little bit more vertical space, though. Um, so let's actually do that. I'm going to just go to the map, and we're going to do uh, insert. We want to insert rows. Oh, not rows. Whatever, we'll just add this like here. Insert rows. Shouldn't it be rows, not columns? Okay, my brain is, is not I'm not thinking about it quite right. Okay, so let's insert some there. Insert some there. What happened there? I think those got messed up somehow. We'll we'll need to take a take a look at that because those did not did not function as intended. Okay, let's use the resize function then. I know that one's working. Um, so let's just make this like forty four mid mid. So that'll just give us more space on top and below, which is about what we want. Okay. 
And this... Okay, that's maybe too much. Like, I like the amount of space down here for a cache because we can, we can like, do walls. Let's put in the walls and see where we're at. Okay. Here... And we want that two, two, one, two, three, four, and not that there. Walls. There's going to be a relay there to there. And also one going through here, and I think that's that's like long enough that we're not going to hit range stuff. Now this got extended out some more, and I think that's that was a little bit too much. So we're probably going to bring yeah, let's just bring that in a bit, and we'll do too too wide. I think that will look pretty good. Okay, cool. Minimap's not showing the right stuff right now. Um, we can save the tiles if we want to change that. So here, save tiles. There we go. Um, here. It's good that it's showing this black on the minimap, but it's okay. Okay, so now we got more space down here. Um, hopefully it's enough. Oh yeah, that's that's a lot. We probably are gonna end up throwing away. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So probably about there. Yeah, I think that that leads to some interesting stuff. And uh, these can actually be pits if we want them to be. It doesn't really matter. Um, but we want to maybe be time expensive to like get through this so and like you have to invest resources <laughs> oh no but then they can't leave crap um i mean we could do like three wide two Yeah, how obnoxious can we be to our player before they just say it's not worth it? Um, this, These are the questions you ask. <laughs> these are the questions you ask. Um, yeah, so... And then this one also needs to be... Like that. So let's move this. Um, copy, paste. Right there ish. Nah. Right there. Terrain. Uh, wall. So do 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 do. And. Then out. Okay, so now we got this like basically it just slows um, getting the. Uh... Okay, so it does two things. It's a like if you mess up your surgers, um, then they'll merge the platforms and you'll be very sad. But like there's gonna be several, like probably four, I think. Okay, let's see. Uh, what color are we going to do orange, I think, right? Orange. Buildings 2. So, let's see about this. And these will be powered off. Um, so, you'll still need to, like, capture them and stuff. 
got like one space. So I would love if there was just one more space below this so that it would like line up. Um, and we can just kind of steal that from here. Let's, let's do that. So map tools, copy, paste. There we go. Um, so now we'll just take that. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty cool. You're like, oh, okay, I see. There's a bunch of, of stuff here. Uh, you know, let's platform them. Let's let's have them already be platformed. We can be nice. The challenge is to get them out and use them in a short period of time. Uh, it is not to rapidly platform them and move them, right? Okay, this is pretty cool. I'm 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 pretty happy with this. this is a fun little side thing. Um, we could have there be enemies between here, but like. You can't laser stuff with these. Or maybe we should let you laser stuff with them. Like, we could do some windows here. Like, for your trouble, you can, like, skip this defense if you go around here. But then you gotta, like, build wires. And then you have to capture them, and the capturing them probably is gonna take a little while. Right? So, like, hmm, I think it's probably good. Let's just, we'll, we'll have the windows. I, I like the kind of, the vibes, right? Where it's like, oh, wait, I can, like, use these to laser, and then you are, like, can, you can further take that and then be like, oh, I can use the laser here, too. Okay, let's put down the green HQ, um, just because I kind of want to see how it lines up with the rest. So, three space, four space. Yeah, we need more here. And I kind of feel like, oops, it's not quite what I wanted. Um, three space. We, we can do one more over. Right, so we're at three, five, um, so that's gonna be seven. So you mean like a nine, nine range, and we can go and extend this pit here. You know, let's do just a wall here for funsies. Get rid of those two. Get rid of those two. Okay, a thing that's kind of tricky about this is if this is killable, like, that's not so good. For the wires coming out of it, at least. Because it is going to be the sole power source. So maybe... Like, we got this going through here. And we got shields, baby. Let's let's uh, make it so they go the two ways. Yeah. Um, and we're good, right? So they got to really, like... And, you know, do some, some lasering. And then, like, maybe also... Did we do anything with triplexes? I don't think we did. Hmm... Like, I do f think this is pretty cool as, like, a thing to, to prevent people from murdering the line. Or at least make it harder, right? You could totally go through this, but it was, it's going to take some effort. Actually, no, the laser should melt through these like butter because they have a cooldown. They have a cooldown. We're gonna have to give them a triplex upgrade. Like they have it, so 
and then like I don't know. I don't know why traffic's are good, but they are good somehow. <laughs> we'll make them good. Okay. Now, we also... I think want to do... This. There. As just a bubble of, you know, coolness. Now, a cool thing we could do is we could do little firing holes out this. Uh, it doesn't probably functionally mean a whole lot. Um, I'm going to wait to do it, but, like, you know, we basically would put this and then put a lance and they can shoot to there, right? It would, it would add a nice little, like, touch to, oh, like, they can sort of threaten you, but, like, not really. Um, but maybe it catch some players off guard. Be like, oh, they're, they can attack through that. I might also give them the idea that they can use their lasers. Um, so, I think this is pretty cool as a start area. Uh, let's see what else we had planned. So, we, we should put some of those triplexes down. Or, I'll try the relays. Uh, environment, relays. Um, so, we want one of these to be killable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is probably more like gonna be like here to uh, here. And then here to here. And then we were also going to do one here across. Yeah, because there's this whole line we're going to build there. Okay, so... Yeah, and you'll notice that, like, now that we're getting down to the details of how this is, like, a lot of the, like, little bits and pieces are being filled in in terms of, like, how this is going together. Um, terrain, pit... I want that to be four spaces. Okay, and then green wire wire now we have power over here you can go over this way with it i want green to be all snaky like that's kind of their their theme of sorts snakiness such a triplex uh now let's let's put shields in there it, it'll be really hard to kill it um, it's like, if you take this, like, how do we make it so it's harder to go through here than to go through here? Oh, wait, this also makes it really hard to, to get leverage at this. But, like, also the damage. Like, because your turrets are only range one, so going through this is going to be really hard. But, like, doing one of these would be maybe faster, but take more resources. Yeah, and that'll tack up to there. This is being pretty cool. I'm excited. Okay, wall. Put that there. Okay, so next we want this kind of big wall. So we're probably going to go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight spaces ish. So about there. And that's going to go, yeah, about up to there. And we'll do two thick. Um, so a thing that can be always fun to do is to sometimes put mirroring properties where like a level will look kind of the same across two sides or something. Um, so if we do our murder holes here and here, maybe here and here, like, then we can also have, like, some holes here or whatever. Hey, that could be our wall. Okay, you know, I'm I'm actually, I'm liking that. Like, we can do some here. I, I don't know why you would ever go across that, but, like, maybe there's wires here so it, like, protects them or something. Yeah, 
I'm not sure about that one. But but we you know we evolve the idea. Okay. So we have this coming out here. Now we're gonna have basically just a box. Um, let's fill that in. And you know, probably another kind of big area. We'll make these more interesting later. Um, like just having a big occlusion area is just kind of boring. Um, but like you can do fun stuff. Maybe you put like uh, nanites inside of it, so it's a minor objective. Um, that by quickly go in and build a bunch of nanites on it, then like, so so here here's like an extra extra thing you can do. Maybe these are full of resources, and for the player you think you want to lose, if you have extra actions, you then or extra time before you switch, then you like build a bunch of miners in there with your resources, um, and then you go and cut those off by the other player because these center like hubs, these three hubs, are mostly well, at least this this middle middlemost one. So maybe this middlemost one is the one that has it, and it's only one. Right, but we can do a cool thing like this, maybe. And then there's like a bunch of resources or something in there that's that's valuable. Okay, so we want a relay that connects these two points. So let's do uh, green here to there. Let's do wall, put more wall in. I kind of like this, like, sort of crenellation sort of shape here. Uh, it looks pretty cool, I think. kind of want this to be aligned to here, but it would make it easier to trap yourself when coming out. With your... Yeah, if you just, like, swing it, it's just, like, going to go right in there, and you're like, okay. So it's actually probably better to have it slightly offset. Um... But yeah, that looks pretty cool. I think that's neat. Um, let's see. How do we do? Do we do we do do? Is this too big? Like, I don't think so. Like, I think there's maybe some interesting stuff that can be done from this triplex, or from this relay, and then from down here. Uh, I, I kind of feel like now's the time we start expanding those wires out some more. Um, and... That's cool. All right, you want to do cool shapes. Um, let's do that, maybe. Let's go one over. There we go. And then it's like literally looks like a snake. Um, we can put buildings on here to do interesting things with it later. Um, let's do the murder holes. Um, I'm. This is specifically like castle terminology, I think. I don't remember what they're exactly. Called. I thought they were called murder holes, but like that's that's Age of Empires uh, historical education um, suiting me well, you know. Oh, cool! That kind of looks like a scorpion, like pincers, right? And the tail goes all out. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty cool. Um, the tail is going to branch though, because we don't want to have this be that vulnerable. Um, okay, green has this advantage that they can move really quickly. Oh, we're not really abusing that super well. Like we're not we're not giving them a reason why that's interesting. I guess it's sort of interesting against yellow. Maybe. 
maybe there's some things to do there. I feel like yellow, just the turrets are gonna destroy everything. <laughs> Make a continuous stream of lances going in and dying and going in and dying. Okay, this, we need a little bit more space here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's plenty now. So I kind of want to extend this, but it will ruin the lances if I do. So, yeah. We're going to we're going to have it be that way. Is how it's going to do. Um Okay, here. Oh, we could do Oh. Oh, I've got a cool idea. Okay, so we're going to do the following. It's not quite snake themed, but I think it's cooler. Um, so we're gonna do shield, 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 shield. Um, and then that makes them so they're all kind of like, well, they're hard to pull out if you were to platform. I mean, we're not gonna let you do that actually though. Okay. Okay, so they're like, you know, boxes or whatever with a, the center part. But the center part is then going to be a bunch of relay. Big ass relay network. Oh, and then this is like actually like then kind of protected if we do that. Okay, so environment relay. We're going to hold shift by doing that. We can do up to eight, I think it is. Okay, see, now it's like, okay... They've got this, like, protected space, and it goes all the way down the front line. All the way down to here, and this goes across. Okay, yeah, this is this is looking pretty cool. I'm going to move this relay back one, just so that it, like, is differentiated some. Um, okay. But this is cool. This probably... This probably makes things a little bit weird. Because you can just kind of sneak on by. There's like... Wait! So you could skip this. Okay, so this is actually kind of neat. You could skip all of this if you don't want to bring any... Because uh, like, there's, a, there's a, a space here you can sneak through. But it's only too wide. Okay, I actually really like this now. It's only too wide, which means that you could give up and say, Hey, I'm not going to do the turret blasts. That's not going to happen, right? No turrets, or no, 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 sorry, not no turrets, uh, no uh, HQ blasts because it's three wide, and so you get hit by this side or the other side, right? And so you need to kill these or kill these if you're going to bring an HQ through. Um, but if you just snuck a bunch of, like, you know, uh, surgers through, then you could, like, go and take this out, right? Your surgers are probably pretty slow as yellow, but, like, that's fine. It's a different sort of strategy to solving the, the puzzle. Like, this is this is meant to be gameable. Uh, and so if you think, oh man, like, I could totally sneak through here, but then it's like, oh, but then I lose, like, a really good tool being the HQ laser, and I can only HQ laser this stuff, which is, you know, probably not gonna, gonna go so well. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> the return damage. And, of course, this thing is so insanely strong, uh, it would take, like, four lasers. So, uh, yeah. All right. Um, so we want to do another defensive line here for green. Uh, let's do like, we'll just do a simple thing. There. We don't need that anymore. Oh, we do. Because that connects to all those. Dang it. Um, 
So if we connect that there, but then this is like super vulnerable to take out this entire block. Right? Um, I don't really want to do another one of these. I feel like this is kind of a unique thing specifically for this area that's that's, that's like different and, and whatnot. Um, so like, I don't want to do that. Three, and three, Oops. and there. Okay, this is cool. This this has got me got me excited. I, I still need to think about how to solve this problem here. Maybe we do like a relay from here to here and one from here to here and so you need to take out here and here and here and then also this guy which is a lot of very specific targets uh and so you'd have to move slash build and shoot lasers so to do it it would be a lot of time but it would be like the lowest resources used sort of thing um so we, we could try it. Like. All right, then we just do one wire here. Wire over that way. Yeah, but like you could maybe still hit this and, and not have to take care of everything here. So that would be like if you can break through here, what's our, we were thinking of putting up there, but I'm thinking actually we don't want to do quite so deep. Uh, shields, three, and we can do a smaller version and maybe like it's owned by the other player, right? The, the, the holes. Like, why take this base? There's no HQ there. Well, there's resources. Resources are always good. Um, we're going to do another defensive line over here. These are... We'll probably change these um, some amount. Yeah. Okay, I'll think about that more later. Um, we wanted to do this. Okay, so this is already cool. We don't have to worry about those. There's a neat choice here to use a serger for yellow or not. Because um, then you get lasers or not. And then disconnecting all of the ways that these get connected is uh, very hard. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could get like one HQ here and blast this side. But like disconnecting everything here that's this point and this point i guess it actually is only two. Oh no and this point up here so you need to cut this wire right this is like the most valuable wire to green ever um and then like one of these so if we cut that and we cut that right that entire section is depowered but this is connected through over here so like that's fine all right let's do do some more this is gonna be so hard to get through i am yeah, this will be very amusing to see. That's like too strong. <laughs> it should be the, the easier place to take out. 
I, so I don't, I don't like how interesting this space up here is. It's pretty boring. Um, we'll try to add more flavor to it. Like, this is feeling like a good amount of flavor for the, the walls and how things are laid out. Uh, but well, this is kind of boring. But we're just, we're just trying to sketch out the basics and then we can add even more details later. Um, same with, like, this area in here. It doesn't, it doesn't feel unique enough, really. Uh justify what what's what's happening okay so let's have this go over to the end so i think we can start with yellow now so we want a triplex cache and then like an opening that's like three wide that's too high i think we should go smaller Smaller. And then for the triplex cache, uh, we can have little cubbies for them or something. Let's put them on pits so they don't collide the, the model. And we gotta shift it over one. Uh, ba, ba, ba. And then three, go to here, across. Yes, I do make sound effects for myself. It, I, I find that it uh, boosts my mental cognitive powers by at least 20%. Okay, so you can do a Lance thing. You can take this. That's cool. Uh, you actually can't do that with the turret. The turret's between one range. Um, but you could do it with a laser, uh, if you were yellow, but that doesn't necessarily matter. And then we wanted to put an HQ here because yellow has multiple HQs, right? Um, pits. Let's give them... Oh, our space here is really limited. Maybe we want fewer triplexes. Like this is gonna be two times six is 12 triplexes if we were to fully populate this. So what we were gonna put this as blue, I guess. I guess we can do cyan color blue, the like player one. Triplex. What stops yellow from taking this, though? Like, they can't build triplexes. And they actually probably can't use them in any other meaningful way. Yeah, and we may as well do mirroring, so it'll be like a whole area. I mean, they just don't like triplexes, I guess, unless you decide to capture them as yellow for some reason. You know, it's gray because it's like, oh, specifically wanting to point out that it's like a resource cache or whatever. These aren't going to turn gray because they're, you know, they're powered, um, but they'll be captured later. Okay, so... There's not a lot of space here in the center. Hmm. Herm, herm, herm. Like, we could kind of squish this, but we did like to have a good amount of space. Also, I don't really love how much space there is here either. Like, so maybe we just like shift this whole chunk of the level over by a couple spaces. 
right? So like, let's do a copy of like here and we'll get rid of like three spaces. Paste like there. Uh, there, okay. Get rid of that extra wall. Yeah, 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 I like that. That's, I think that's a good way of addressing that as a, as a concern. Oh, that's weird. It was showing green inside of there. Wolves. Okay. Yeah, I guess it maybe was still claim by them that's a weird bug hopefully that won't cause us problems it in theory shouldn't but you know new editor stuff breaks and doesn't work sometimes in fact is this the same here no it's not okay let's do data save tiles back yeah for weird reasons I don't know why those are looking black on the minimap. It might just be like they're double rendered or something. I don't know. Weird, weird things sometimes happen in the editor when you're modifying all the stuff all the time. Okay, so now we got a little more space here, and that's great. And then there's less space here, which makes these more interesting. And this space, like, harder to, like, squeeze by, which I like, right? Conjoining, like, this side of level to side level is, is tricky. So, like, figuring out the right blend is hard. And, like, you know, it's like the third. Like, where does green start? It's about the left third. More like, actually, like, 0.4. They have, like, 40% left-hand side. So, for yellow, it should be about the same. Middle 20% is like kind of no man's land between the two. All right, so let's do some more sketching for the yellow. Let's see about this. So I kind of feel like this HQ should just still be a little bit further over. Let's do that. Um, let's put maybe another wall at the bottom here. Like we could do some things with that maybe, right? So do here. And we wanted to do like what? How did that work from like a layout standpoint? Yellow shields. It was like this and this. This. And this, yeah, that gives us like a four by four. Or, yeah. So if we're gonna do two entrances, this needs to go up a little bit more. And we can have this like go actually into the bottom some. And then we'll just move that forward some. Uh, There we go, and then... Okay, okay, that that's pretty neat. Um, now, as far as where the walls are... Terrain, wall... Oh, it destroys them. I mean, they're part of the spaces, so like, yeah, it, it, it finds them and, and, and wrecks them, so... But... The thing is, is if we just put the walls in first, 
we shouldn't have that problem. Like, it should let us build them into that space. It's just being a little bit over-aggressive. Then we do here, 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 here. Two. One to there. There we go. That's pretty neat. You can still sort of see the bubble through the wall. That's, that's fine. It's a custom map. Oh crap, we got rid of it again because it was contained in the space. Walls are a little aggressive sometimes. Okay, this is pretty cool. I feel like this is maybe too easy to get through. So, like, maybe we do that there and that there, and that protects these wires. Get rid of that. Two, two. Those are protected. Those are protected. This one's a little vulnerable, but, like, they need to, like... Go up and in, which would be tricky. And then we just do two and two. Can you handle the zap is the real question. And then we got plenty of space out here to like do rams and stuff. This one a little bit less so, um, which makes me think it should be like less hard to get through somehow. Or we can take off some of the space of this. And or maybe make this more vertically oriented. Do that and that. Okay, I think the color difference is just that it, it renders the background. And when it rendered the minimap, it has the color still of the wall. Okay, this is... This is looking pretty dang cool. Um, call me a happy girl. This is great. So to cut off, to break this, you gotta go through here, or you have to do enough damage to overwhelm these. These are extra hard. Um, but, like, probably the best is actually a coordinated, because you just want to burst down, um, the, like, you want to send one in that probably is connected across as, like, a U-shaped. Like, I'm imagining the best strategy for getting through to this one is to do, hang on, let's switch players, is to do, like, a weird thing like this. And then you push it in like that, right? I mean, maybe it's maybe it's even further, right? It is that and there, and there, and there. I need to figure out why these have zero HP. Um, But yeah, I feel like this would be this is a neat thing, and it's like, oh, well, you could go for these, but like they're protected, and you're gonna be taking tons of damage, and so getting the ramming force off is a lot, and then also you need to like use the chain to do even more damage to these to kill them. You know, we could just test this right here and see what happens. Like, what what is the interaction here, and, and how does it work? We should still have our turn base, so, like, there we go, and um, let's try it. 
Okay, so these wires got instantly murdered. Because we got through further enough. And these did not have enough to protect them. Okay, so. It's not as we suspected. It is, it is quite possible. So getting through and killing these. How do we protect those? I mean, they could just be a little bit stronger. and or have turrets on them. Like, if you got through the front there, and you're not instantaneously murdered... Like, these things aren't that much stronger, though, right? These turrets are weak as... They're, they're paper. These are paper turrets. We could just do that. That would work. We could continue out and make it so, oh, this is the more dangerous of the two, but, like, it's not... It's not quite so insane, but, like, getting through and taking out this is good, because then you could maybe... Like, if you can take out this, that you can go out back, hit this. And then you've got... Well, you can't actually leave... Well, you could, like, platform some of this, rather, and then send it over. Another reason to take this early is that this is a lot of defenses that you can get through. Okay. Let's try that. How does this go? What do our shields take damage-wise? Okay, so, you see we got chopped here, and now everything is lost. Wonderful. Um, the chain, chain lightning does the thing. Um, okay, we need to not push quite as far, to like there. Oh, it's going to kill it still. Oh, dang it. Okay, we need to reinforce this further back. Um, like, how hard is this to make this whole, whole shenanigans work? Right? Aren't I green? Oh, I can't demolish. That's right. That's a whole thing. Money. No, give me money. I'm running out of time. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need to do demolish, I think. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, it did work. These got murdered pretty heavily. Right? Um, I'm not green anymore, so I can't... There you go, now I'm green again. Do this. Hey, we got through. You can get through. There's there's way more efficient ways, I think, to get through, though, than what I did. Like, what if you just... Okay, I need to go back to edit. <laughs> and then delete this hunk here. Um, go for green. So, like, if you just decided to do that, I'm curious how that goes, right? Let's push that to there. Oh, 
Okay. So it bounced enough to, like, get to the back part. So, like, if you're doing this, you need to, like, go extra, probably rotate that. There we go. Okay, so this... Oh, okay, that's super problematic. We really can't include these because then we get the lightning damage and it kills our wires, right? So they're like I guess the 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 strategy or the the in, the insight to get past this is that you really don't want this here. Like that's that's terrible. It's it's actually the worst. <laughs> Dang it, okay. Yeah, breaking this defense is, is, is quite the puzzle. Um, but it's totally doable, right? As we did before. Um, there There is a, an ultimate option. We'll, we'll let players figure out, like, the more optimized and more interesting ones. But, like, yeah, we got we got some stuff here. We got some stuff. I like it. This one's meant to be one of the harder ones to crack. So let's go back. Um, our defense is not unbreakable. I am not super worried about Green's defense being breakable just because it's like... It's not that big of a deal. In fact, he should probably be pointed that way. Do do do. Okay, this is neat. We got some cool stuff. And then if you had return damage to send back to this. So a way to break this faster. Or better in some way. I'm trying to think about the... So part of the strategy of this probably is that when you're controlling the other player, you make like a platform and you send it out to a place that's pretty vulnerable. And the other player comes in and takes it and captures it. And it's like, oh, I've prepared a platform as the enemy to help you defeat myself. As like a, a kind of higher level strategic thing. Um, but like pulling that off might be, might be hard. Might be tricky. Difficult, one might say. Um, like that. You know, this really is need to be that defended. Let me just do that. These things are boss. They're really powerful lances. Okay, so base one of yellow. Cool. This is connected over here. You can use a lance to kill that. Use a lance to kill this side. Um, this yellow side... Oh, wait. They'll just start capturing that immediately, aren't they? Okay, so now there isn't a wire there. So they won't unless you build one. It'll just be all unpowered. Okay, cool. So... Let's see. We wanted to do another HQ base... Um, you know what would be maybe neat is this HQ base is not actually walls. It's just like in the open. It's in the open, but it's it's difficult to get through. Uh, terrain. I don't even know if that's a big enough challenge, because like walls tend to make things really good, but if you don't have them, then it's like eh, maybe that wasn't that hard. This one's not supposed to be that hard, though, to get through, so... Like... 
Yeah. Maybe that's okay. Like, who's, who's a prickly boy? Oh, a thing we probably... Okay, so, as a strategic thing, like, you'll be able to, like... Or you won't be able to platform these. So you can't send them. So, yeah, that'll be fine. Because all the stuff that you build at the beginning, we're going to have to make so it's not, like, platformable. Otherwise, you can just, like, platform this, send it out, and, you know, it's, it's like, not interesting. But if it's not platformable, then we actually can do this. Right. It's just a sun. <laughs> it's the sun of power. <laughs> I mean, it's unique. I don't know if I really like it that much. Uh... uh... Yeah, I don't know if I if I like this. It, it's certainly unique in that we don't ever do something like this in the campaign. But, like, it's maybe not that interesting. It also doesn't accomplish the design goals that we, like, originally set out to, like, have you, like, go through this area. Eh, we'll we'll copy it. Uh, maybe we'll we'll use it, but we'll get rid of it for now. Okay, walls or pits or something. So we have this middle area that, like, you know, you you go in from the green, or you go in from the yellow side. Like, there's some valuable stuff in here, right? And, you know, probably, this is kind of big. Let's, let's do wall there. But like, let's do a boonie trail. You know, sometimes you just need a, a little trail thing that, like a little pack. There we go. Look at that. That's that's neat. So four, four, six. Um, so it's it's even enough, but it's not symmetrical. All right. -oh. I'm thinking we want to like supercharge these uh, to give you lots of lots of money from them. We'll we'll change them like that property of them later. Like give both players you know 400% efficiency and income of like 400% or something so that they get a lot of money I kind of want to make money just not even a thing but also I want to be able to have these secondary resources so it's like a weird mixed mixed thoughts <laughs> about it uh, so for now that's that's you know good Lay out that, lay out this here. Okay, let's let's just start on this. You know, another reason why the sketch is so useful. Um, when your brain starts to get a little bit like, ah, uh, I'm not sure, like decision paralysis, you just be like, nope, we're sticking with the plan. Right? We're sticking with the plan, we're doing it, it's it's, it's gonna be great. We thought it was cool a while ago. Like don't second guess yourself. Just, just do the thing, right? Do the thing. You know, that's that's all this game development process has been. Just do the thing. Do the next cool thing. If someone ever asks you, how do you make cool games? Uh, you do the next thing. And eventually, you've done enough things that your game is cool. Okay, we got a problem here from the space translation of this which is this HQ doesn't really have a lot of space to breathe or at least maybe this needs to be pulled up I think I moved, yeah I put this too, too low down 
So I get rid of my base thing. So I'm going to put that there for copy or cut, copy, copy, paste. Move that to like there, there, maybe. There we go. I want to keep keep that. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with it, but it's cool, all right. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be good. It's just. It's like a big ball of of yellow zap. It's you know. It's amusing to me. We could nestle it in with this wall. And then it would have some backdrop and like that's that makes it feel maybe more unique in neat ways. And then maybe we do like some protection line out here. Like, what, what about that? What if we just be like this, like right? What about that? Terrain. Yeah, I think we're we're diverging from the sketch a lot here, but that's all right, you know. Destroy it all. You know, it it looks cool. It's pretty neat. Like a thing that is tricky about this. So if you look at the lines. Um, how you attack this with a serger from a greens perspective is actually kind of tricky. And I think it means you have to like do a weird disjointed L shape thing here. Where if you're green, you have to do something like this maybe. And then you have your sergers back here and your lances up here. So that you can do enough of them. We need to figure out why those are doing weird build stuff. They like disappear and reappear. And why they have zero health. <laughs> also that. Um Alright, yeah, I'm I'm relatively happy with what's happening here. Um, I do feel like we wanted to have a thing that stopped you from going back this way. So let's consider how we might do that. Um, like... Maybe that's just like this. Or or even just that, right? And there's an open space here. It's 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 okay. This is super undefendable. If you do that. That's a little better. A little bit more interesting. Oh, shadows go away when we move closer. Or like they become higher detail. You can see that like snapping behavior. I think that's because like the number of light sources is too many or something. I don't know. All right. This is so bright. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, I got an idea. Okay. Let's do this. We can do pits. The same thing. But this defensive line is vulnerable. And we'll do a, a relay across here. So we do here to here, and then uh, let's do shields, that, and then 
right? Like, oh, do 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 do. There we go. That's neat. And then we could do the same pattern for like the other side here, maybe. So the cool part about this is then if you tick this a long way first, you can just go and poke this, right? With a, with a lance, like you just build a lance, poke. Then you can take this and then you can go through here or you can then like platform these and use them to attack uh, yellow here. So it gives you like a way of starting to beat up this. And another thing is, is maybe from the backside, it's easier to kill um, this. Like from the front side, you don't have leverage because there's this dang wall in the way. And that's pretty obnoxious. Uh, we could make it a little bit more obnoxious. Yeah, we, we could. There's this wall in the way. And, and that's kind of like interesting and neat. Um, in fact, let's continue on. That's going to kill the shield, but like, that's, that's all right. I don't think there's any value to putting this here. Unless... No, you can't... <gasps> Wait! No, you can! Holy crap! Okay, I just realized something. Since you're building an HQ, usually they become powered. But the thing is, is if you start building it, they take a while to finish construction. And so if you cut off power mid-construction, they can be captured by green. And then green could use a laser that's yellows. Mm. Okay, we need to account for that strategy just a little bit. Uh, and I feel like this is maybe a, a decent opportunity to do, like, just that. Um, like, I like how this is mirrored. But, like, what's a neat way to do that? Like, it, yellow can give green an HQ. I didn't think they could because, like, oh, cool, it's powered. But, no, you just cut off the wire before it's finished. And then they can finish the construction and it they have it. They can't use the death laser, though, because they don't have the action. So we could just maybe enable that. We may just have to do an extra trigger for that. But, like, I feel like that's a really cool Easter egg to make it so that if you capture a yellow HQ it now enables laser like that. I just seems super cool. And you don't even have to have one on the map. Um, it's just a thing that yellow has to do, right? Yellow needs to have one that's partially constructed that can, that is cut off from the grid, which I think would be super cool. All right. Um, this needs to like have wall still. And I guess, yeah, this side's vulnerable, that side's vulnerable to Lance. That's maybe the part that I like that's neat about this little thing. We're going to leave that there. Um, but we should find some way that makes it interesting. Maybe this is facing this way and this is facing this way. So these aren't here. Or maybe they're like literally just energy or whatever. And so there's a giant vulnerability. So if you're like, oh, I can like give you an HQ, HQ comes over here, blasts this. Okay, okay, I like that. Because, okay, th this is sort of strategy that's like, okay, there's multiple layers here in terms of things you need to do. You need to set up yellow to give green a HQ, but it's not a completely built HQ. They capture it, then they surge it over here, they blast this HQ, which I'm not actually sure if it would do enough damage. I think it does. 1200 damage. So it'd have to go through these. The thing is, it only lasts for like four seconds. So you might have to like blast it twice once the cooldown's off. But like, that's that's all good and dandy. Um, we should probably put a note to ourselves uh, to remember to like put that trigger in. Because we're going to have to custom script that to be like, oh, if green captures that. Because it's not... 
it's not the same thing as an HQ building itself. It's a different action entirely. So we'll need to like unlock it specifically. So I'm gonna oh, make open up Notepad plus plus and put a note and be like, hey, um, make trigger that unlocks laser or we can call it ray, I guess the ray. Um, if green captures a yellow HQ, which can happen, can happen if done during construction. Okay. I'm excited about that. <laughs> it's, it's just such a niche thing that I don't expect anyone to do anything with, but also like, yeah, it's probably going to be a thing someone figures out and they're going to have a really awesome player moment, right? Okay, so... Um, yeah, let's go and do that. So, this being exposed, that's fine. Like, you can blast this, shoot it with a lance. This is all good and dandy. So, this base can be sabotaged by yellow. This base... So, if we left this open, I didn't think about it, but going from the other direction... Yellow could blast this one. I kind of don't like that. I feel like this is its own separate puzzle from this one. Um, where this one's being like, oh, well, it's all about, you know, figuring out, you know, turrets or something and how to get through them, right? It's just a big mass of turrets and, oh boy, uh, you figure out a way to get through that. That's real hard. <laughs> um, yeah, in fact, we could do... This will make it so it takes two, so you want to, like, kill these things first, and that'll, like, give some protection. You need to, like, angle the turret right so it hits this, because then it's... Well, no, not... Okay, neither of them are protecting this face. So you hit this part of the HQ, you're fine. This exact corner. This is going to be such a nerdy level, like, to do really well on this. It's it's going to require some serious, like, puzzle thought thinkers moments. Puzzle thought thinkers moment. You heard it here. All right. So um, let's go back to our picture. We got a cool thing here. So we kind of merged these two together. So this corridor behind it that we were going to have... Eh, that's fine. I don't. I wasn't really that into it, anyways. This this part, I was just like, ah, oh, okay, whatever. We'll just we'll put it in. We'll figure out some. Um. Let's see. If we do that. All right. Then we do like this. Well, like that's pretty neat. It only attacks one space out. This whole one space attack thing is is difficult to design around. Um, difficult, one might say. And we wanted to do like uh, this sort of thing. So we do two of those, two of those, turrets, turrets, blop, blop, blop. Right, and I kind of feel like this is this is actually a wall here. There, okay, so there's maybe a cool thing we could do where, like, we can have a second thing for the lance, not the lance, the, like, figuring out you can use the laser bit, but it will just look like there's a connection here. Dang it, I got rid of that. Normally that's actually a good thing, but... 
in this case it's it's causing us some amount of some amount of harm um, environment relay here here And then we could do. So the thing about this is it's not actually close enough that you, you can just sneak on through. Right? And that's not that's not very interesting. So let's see. If we're there, you can sort of sneak on through. Yeah, you can. So we have to do like There, ish. Yeah. Then there's there's a nun space. This is a nightmare to get through as green. I mean, that's kind of the whole point of this is to be hard. It's like, oh, well, you found the cool back secret, but like. If you're gonna go this way, it's it's gonna be a challenge, right? Okay, we got this whole space here, and there's not really much reason to to go through it or whatever, right? So how are we gonna make it cool? How are we gonna make it interesting? First off, let's do a relay here to here. Nope. Um, and then shield, shield, turrets, turrets. Okay, so we got our, our line here now that's like separating that. How do we make this different and interesting? Like I'm failing to figure out how to make this last HQ cool. And that maybe makes me think we need to have another upgrade of some description. Um, I'm not sure. Not sure about what to do there. Uh, what do we want? We want a turret there, and we want ball. Now yellow is not that hard to kill, so like getting to it is all about like finagle. And then yellow or you know green is all about the brute brute force brute force everything brute 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 force. Okay, and we want to make this so like this is like practically on yellow's doorstep. So uh, let's figure out something that is interesting between walls. I feel like we just need to do some thought about what are some interesting things. So an interesting thing about shields is that they can go through walls. So let's think about that for a bit. If we put a shield there, now you can't get at the shields. Right? Like that's that's maybe interesting. Where mm -hmm. you're shielded from a thing that's not even on the field. That's pretty cool. Um So maybe we have a, a bunch of like encapsulated um shields that are like have a relay network that you need to like disconnect in all the ways and so you need to figure out which ones are the ways to like get through so we could do that up here or we could do it down here um as a challenge to get to the final this one feels already too like this is going to be some pretty pretty oof like platform stuff so just to like get through it it feels it feels a lot 
You know what I mean? It feels feels like a lot here already. Yeah, so those are connected. Um you can platform this way, but it's only a three. But if you can get through, then you can kill it pretty easily. You can't do a direct line of fire to kill the HQ. There's no line of sight, I think, probably. Yeah, so I want to be able to not shoot this. Line of sight. Okay, you're... You here? Yeah, I want to be able to shoot this, but not like. Yeah, like shooting this, killing this. That's that's fine and dandy. And then using a lance across the gap, or blasting this corner here, but like actually hitting the HQ itself is is not what we want. It's like using an HQ to get through this quicker. Yes, cool. But then we kind of let one of our puzzle, like if we're going to do this weird like shields behind walls sort of thing um, where we do like this basically. Um, that can be one over. Yeah, I, I need to like start putting this down because it's like hard to envision in my head, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, but then how are these connected power-wise? I mean, maybe that's the vulnerability. It's just all you need to do is get them depowered, and you're you're happier. Right. So like this goes up and around. That goes up and around. And that's neat. You can't you can't take this thing on. You got to like pick this off and pick this off. And so it's like, oh, we'll get like a lance through to take this here. And that's good. You can't do that here. We explicitly prevent you from doing such shenanigans. They're not allowed here. Too much shenanigans is just beyond... Beyond what our design allows. Mm. So we kind of move this down a little bit. Let's just do a copy-paste for that. Copy... Uh, paste. Paste. Yeah, that looks pretty neat. Can do a wall. Do that. Um, this makes this more interesting. Yeah, it doesn't like update the map or something. That's a little strange. I hope that's not a serialization bug. If it is, big oof. <laughs> big oof. Probably it just doesn't change the ownership, which is fine. It would just mean the player technically owns that wall, which is not a big deal. Okay. So this one goes two out before coming in, and I kind of like how that looks, but the space here doesn't really allow it to do that, but if we did this here, then it would. And then we have cool symmetrical thingy -o. Uh We need to do this. There we go. There we go. This is this is starting to be pretty neat. Yeah, making making levels. It's all about 
figuring out the cool things that exist and that you can do with what you have. Like what what's the the neat thing you're accomplishing? Wanted to make it easier or harder. Yeah, okay. So that's that's like a neat like hit this, kill the the relay, take that out. That's a pretty easy thing. I feel like there's more we can do with this. But it's all maze based and like that's not great. I feel like that's gonna be really slow. And I kinda want this area to be the maze for some reason. I mean we could have a fourth HQ. Like that is an option that you always have to go through here, but then there's like a wall here and then just like a relay. Yeah, let's let's consider that. What if we did four HQs? I feel like that's gonna make it too long time wise. Right? Too much too much time. But we will try it. Yeah, see, it like wants to think it's still there. That's weird. And then we do relay. We we'll do here to here. Those two wires. Ooh, I like the silhouette of that. It looks like a little dude with two eyes, a little steel inquisitor. There we go. Um, yeah, so this is there. This is there. Cool, big ass blob there. Got more, more neat stuff. Now making this interesting. So if we're gonna do second HQ, actually these don't even need to be connected. What am I thinking? In fact, we could make a second HQ vulnerable to laser. This is not that interesting. I'd be fine if someone figures, oh, you can blast this, and then you can also blast this while you're figuring out this. Um, this, there, right, I think we're in a cool place. Alright, so how are we going to do weird mazy things? Like maybe we have some directions you can kill stuff from some directions you can't right so maybe hey I could kill it from that direction could kill it from this direction here Right. I'm not even sure what that would mean from like a design standpoint. And we'll just put relays beneath all of these. And then maybe we don't. Hmm. Okay, so probably you can sabotage both of these really easily from this side. Bam, bam. And so, like, you can get through here. Same with this. So it's like triple sabotage, cool. But then, I don't even know how if we can make a maze. Maybe this whole maze idea is bad and doesn't really even make sense. Like, I guess we just put wires on everything. We wouldn't want to actually have anything dangerous. It's just a time slow and you're trying to figure out the way to lose the least amount of time. Right. That that's how mazes work, right? Then 
And then we do like one, two, all right. So you don't have to go through here, we went through here. And maybe we have that. You know, we want to kill this side, but maybe also take care of this side. Hey, take out that. Let's take out this. And then maybe there's a relay. One, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five, six. Or maybe one, two, three, four, six. Hmm. Hum. One, oops. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's one block, right? And like that's how all of this gets powered with wires. And then we have this here. Oh, okay. I, so you can rotate these. You can't demolish them, but you can rotate them. So you need to rotate them to be the least amount painful to get through. Okay, this is how this can work, right? Because you'd be like, okay, I want to rotate that there, that there. That's not good. This way? Like that, we always block one side, so we want to not block this side. Not block that side. Because you can rotate them. But it's not going to be configured in a good way initially. And that's where it's interesting, because you have to set it up as yellow so that you can get through as quickly as possible. Right? In fact, all of this stuff can be rotated in that way. I didn't think about that. You know, how do you rotate this so it's less useful? Shield the... Yeah, oh my gosh, this is... Okay, this is great. I didn't even realize that. There's so much you can do as yellow to make green's life easier. Um, because these shields are, are completely unwieldy, right? So we have multiple ways in which, you know, yellow can be messed up by green doing things to them, right? This is this is awesome. Yeah, okay. This is this is so cool. <laughs> Oh, your defenses. What if they were facing the wrong direction? <laughs> okay, cool. Um, and then this is this is literally how do I not mess up, right? You can't demolish anything, but like how do I rotate these in a specific way as to not block myself when I need to go through? Um, that's how the walls can work. Right, so if we do this, be like, oh, okay, there's that there. We'll want to zoom by this. And then we'll do another walled one here. We'll make it killable from that side. Shields. Sometimes you have ideas and you're like, okay, this is weird. But, like, maybe interesting? Who knows? Maybe? Right, and... Like, showing walls or not walls, I think, makes it sort of easier to know what's... What and how to, like... Go faster. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be cool. Maybe you could destroy it from this side. Because, like, then you want to, like, make progress between each switch if you're trying to go as fast as possible. This is going to be such a weird game mode. But I love it. I love it. Oh. Okay, and then this. Right, this face is this way. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, this is, this is... Like, I'm not gonna go through here, I'm gonna go through the top. You have to change both, right? Whereas probably the default is that all this is facing down like that, and has wires over all of it, right? Um, now, mind you, these have the distinct problem of not having that relay under them anymore. So I kind of feel like we want to just centralize these to be like one network and another network. Um, that's going to be obnoxious. But it's it's okay. We can we can do it. Um, shield there, 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 there. And then here, now our relay networks are going to be one, two, three, four. This one providing power. Um, one, two, three, four, five. There as a second network. So I'm a little concerned about this. So you can kill this middle one, which is really important, I think. But a way to simplify this just being a circ a square would just be to put a wire through here, and it functions identically in terms of the connectivity, right? But now it's simplified. Uh, we still need to rebuild them so it like the order is a diamond. But yeah, one, two, three, four, shield here, here, there, here. Okay, this is so cool. I'm, I'm so thrilled about this. Okay, and then this one here, like you can shoot over these, but like by the point you get here, killing them is not, like it takes a long time. So rotating is a way better option because it's just one. Well, these are pretty weak. Okay. So let's see. Um, oh, we still need this to be connected somehow for power. I mean, that'll just be going through here, I think. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, we're getting some proper puzzle design here. Um, I didn't think this would be a type of puzzle for our game, but yeah, okay. Um, yeah. You should know, um, I am not very good at puzzle design. Like, it's the one area of game design that I am... I know I'm not very good at, and it's like, oof. All right, so I kind of want to put an objective back here so that going this way is interesting. So let's put one there, terrain, wall, wall. But we need to have one more relay network, probably that just goes here, here, uh, and whatever the back of this space is. Okay, this feels really puzzly, and and that's great. Um, we can leave that open. It doesn't, it doesn't matter too much. So those are all one. This is one. This is one. Right, so it's really important to kill this. Well, kill this because then this becomes unpowered. Right, so if you're trying to say what's the order of these things. Like, that's good. Kill this. 
This is not good because you have to kill this thing here. So you actually do that and that. Because then you move here, kill this, and then you can snake right through pretty easily. Right, then you can you can go through this here. We're gonna we're gonna put things into the places that are the worst again. Okay, this is gonna be so weird and different. It's great. Okay, let's just put walls in those spaces. That's gonna destroy things. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, shield here, here. Okay. So. Here, here. I think we want to put a pit here. So that you can kill that if, like, the space is open or whatever. And we'll leave both of those open, but we'll do walls all the way across here. You know, walls here onto that. And I think that's probably near the end of our our mischief. Like probably this is just a normal wire here. I'll just go through that. And you have to have to sabotage the defenses. Um So we have this going through here, we can sabotage this from this angle, or we rotate it. So going from behind makes it a little easier. Okay, 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 okay. okay. This is this is uh, think. Oh, let's put the shields back. So one's supposed to be here. One here. And then I think one here and one here, here, and here. But that doesn't, so the rotation of this doesn't matter. It's just like a home, it's like a really easy sort of thing. And this is like a combat area. You know, I'm thinking maybe we don't actually have this. this is, it's just not interesting enough. We got, we, we have this and this. Whatever, screw this, doesn't matter. It's not that interesting. Okay, so that connects to here, which then goes and connects to this. Now we need to make it bad to like have this be facing the wrong direction or something, right? So if we do that there and this here, then we cut ourselves off from exiting. And maybe these are like completely separated or whatever. Like they're walls on all four directions. Two, three, four, one, two. Yeah, so this is vulnerable here. If you have them facing down, then you block that. If you have them facing up, then you stop your forward progress. And then this would be the side that would have the pit. 
right? So you can kill through that side. And then also we do two pits here. And then we do maybe like one, two, three. So I don't love that telling how these are connected doesn't, it doesn't play very well, right? It doesn't show you easily what is connected to what. That's maybe a thing we should just change in general, is just when you mouse over it, maybe it shows the particles bouncing, but it also does just like a line. Um, I feel like that's that's a separate problem. Like we, the thing is, we never really had that many connection points, so it just didn't matter. But like, maybe we want to do the particles, and we also just want to do like an actual, just like, hey, here's a line that shows you all of the connections of this network when you mouse over it, instead of the slow moving particles. Because like the amount of time you have to wait for this thing, it's just it's long. So it's pretty, but it's long. Um, so something for that might be might be worth it. Um, but I think this is probably interesting enough for testing purposes. Um, and then we do one here. And one here. Right. And like... Yeah, this one is like, pick your poison sort of thing. And I want this to be a wall here, but open on this side. Okay, so power comes in here, goes through here, flows this way. One, two, one, two, three, four, maybe, one, two, three, four, so power, these are powered, separate, independent, don't really care. So the part that's weird is that if we have the wires like occupying all these spaces, it's hard to tell what's connected to what. But also like that's the whole point to delay you is that there's now like a single thing. But the thing is, is we really don't need that many wires. We just need like one. In fact, we could have it depowered. There we go. That way it's not showing connectivity, but it's like, yeah, if you have a shield over this, it's going to take forever to kill it. And we put one there. Um, one there and there. Because, like, the real health comes from, like, you know, the stuff. So that does go through here. How it comes down through here goes out. Through here. Here, here, here. Okay. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Okay, I'm pretty sure that needs to be there. So this is the whole line. But those are just unpowered. These are just unpowered. And we'll do two unpowered here because that reaches the side and that side. 
This time you can be actually three on power there, or just two on either side, that will work. One here. Okay, so this is all a block here. This no longer needs to be, oh no, there's not actually a source down here. Unless we connect across through here. You know what we can do is we can just have them be disconnected and go across, right? They're, they're unpowered, but we, we cut across. It's just a bunch of unpowered complexes. Don't worry about it. And so if you do, then this is already solved, right? So the, the benefit of solving this first is this, this part solved. Because if you go through the back door here, it's easy to kill this thing. And you have to solve this part of the puzzly bit. And here. Here. Oh, that's not even a place. Okay, unpowered, 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 powered. Powered. Okay, this is much better to trace now that the wires are set up in that way. Okay. Okay, this, this is interesting, I think. Um, it is a puzzle. Um, you need to do it between turns when you switch to who has what control. Um, so it's a thing you want to set up so that you can go to later. And so like maybe that's your second yellow turn as you solve this puzzle and then you're green again and you, you come back, right? This makes me want... Like, you can do the same solving over here, uh, because you just change the rotation of this so it's facing right. Maybe green can't rotate. Maybe that's a thing they can't do, and it's a thing that yellow can do. And that, that is specific, because all of this stuff gets kind of ruined with rotate. So, let's add that to our list. Green can't rotate. We are an old man. You think we can do that? <laughs> yeah, no, green, green's, green's as old as yellow. They're the same person, so... Okay. This is neat. Um, as for a final challenge, I don't know. Um, this is gone. I don't want this. This is, like, not cool. Not interesting. I don't know what to do with this last little bit of space. Um, right, it's a home stretch. We could do more puzzle. I feel like this is maybe the right amount of puzzle, though. Like, you don't want to do something that's beyond people and and too hard. Uh, and, like, sure, all this is, like, easily... Like, you just brute force it if you mess up, and then it costs you a bunch of time. But, uh... Like, that's, that's fine. If you are going to brute force it, then you have to start kind of early, right? Uh, how much damage do... There's like 60, I think, right now, because... Yeah, they actually do less than 60. So, it would take a long time to get through one of these shields. Uh, it might take you your entire turn. Yeah. It might take you your entire turn. Okay. This has been really fun and interesting. Um, so I think we're really close to actually testing this out. Like, we have some cool stuff. Um, we have some interesting puzzles. Uh, we have some, like, resource stuff we can get. We need to make the resources stronger. Um, let's actually add a note to do that. Uh, make... Miners more 
efficient plus make uh, more income. Uh, both players. Um. Yeah. How, how long have we been going for? Uh, let me just check that real quick. Oh, we've been going for two hours. Okay. Um, I think we're going to call that session uh, done for now. We have uh, some basic cool thoughts about how the level is going to fit together. Um, there's still quite a lot of decoration that needs to happen. So, for example, I don't really like this area at all. It's really boring. Um, so we should we should get a little more creative about that. Um, this back area, like it has this like this really obvious, oh, you can laser across this. Um and, like, we do want it to be something you can do, but, like, not that obvious, right? Um, and so there's ways we're going to disguise that um, and whatnot. So, yeah, thanks for joining us. Um, next session we'll be probably working on that and also uh, making those triggers for, like, the capture to enable uh, laser and stuff. So, yeah, I hope you have a great day and see you later. Bye!